The Rise of T-Rex, A Journey Through the Evolutionary History of the King of Dinosaurs. Hello and welcome to our channel. Are you ready to go on a journey through time to meet the most renowned and ferocious predator of the prehistoric world? Join me as we study the narrative of the T-Rex, from its roots in the late Cretaceous era to its ascension as the king of the dinosaurs. We will unearth the mysteries of its gigantic size, strong jaws, and unsurpassed hunting ability, as we strive to understand how this ancient species became one of the most renowned and revered dinosaurs of all time. So, buckle up and get ready to travel back in time, as we embark on an epic adventure through the evolutionary history of the mighty T-Rex. The T-Rex is one of the most well-known and iconic dinosaurs to have ever existed. But where did this fearsome creature come from, and how did it become the apex predator of its time? We will take a journey through the evolutionary history of the T-Rex, exploring its origins and development over millions of years. To understand the rise of the T-Rex, we must first look at its evolutionary lineage. The T-Rex was a member of the theropod group of dinosaurs, which were characterized by their bipedal stance, sharp teeth, and predatory lifestyle. The theropods first appeared during the late Triassic period, approximately 230 million years ago, and diversified throughout the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. The earliest members of the theropod group were small, agile predators that likely fed on insects and other small prey. However, over time, some theropods began to grow larger and develop more powerful jaws and teeth, allowing them to take down larger prey. Theropods are a primitive group of small, agile predators that probably preyed on insects and other small prey. However, through time, certain theropods evolved to grow larger and acquire more powerful jaws and teeth, allowing them to take down larger prey. The Coelurosaur family, which included species ranging from tiny, feathered dinosaurs to the largest predators of their era, was one of the theropod group's earliest and most important branches. It was within the Coelurosaur family that the T-Rex would eventually emerge. The T-Rex itself first appeared during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. With North America and Asia creating a unified landmass known as Laramidia, the continents were ordered differently. The climate was warm and humid, and the terrain was dominated by woods and wetlands. As a result of adaptations made in this environment, the T-Rex grew to be one of the biggest and most formidable predators of its era. But how did it attain this position, and what modifications allowed it to thrive? The T-Rex's enormous size was one of its most distinctive characteristics. The biggest T-Rex animals may reach lengths of 40 feet and weights of 14,000 pounds. However, how did the T-Rex get so big, and what benefits did that size bring? Some scientists believe that the T-Rex's size may have been the result of a process known as island dwarfism. This occurs when a large species becomes isolated on a small landmass, with limited resources and competition. Over time, the species may evolve to become smaller in size, as smaller individuals are better able to survive and reproduce in the limited environment. However, when the T-Rex evolved on Laramidia, it was not an isolated species. Instead, it was part of a rich and diverse ecosystem, with many other predators and prey species. So why did the T-Rex evolve to be so large? One possibility is that the T-Rex's size allowed it to prey on larger animals than other predators of its time. The T-Rex's massive jaws and teeth could crush bones and tearing flesh, making it one of the most efficient predators of its time. By being able to take down larger prey, the T-Rex may have been able to outcompete other predators and secure its place at the top of the food chain. Another possible explanation is that the T-Rex's size may have been a response to changes in its environment. During the late Cretaceous period, the climate became warmer and drier, and the landscape began to shift from forests to more open plains. The T-Rex's large size may have allowed it to better navigate this changing landscape, giving it an advantage over smaller predators that were better adapted to forested environments. In addition to its size, the T-Rex was also characterized by its powerful jaws and teeth. As our journey through the evolutionary history of the T-Rex ends, 
we have gained a deeper appreciation for the complexity and wonder of the natural world. We have seen how this magnificent creature, with its massive size and powerful jaws, adapted to its environment to become the undisputed king of the dinosaurs. But our journey is not over. The story of the T-Rex continues to inspire us and capture our imagination, reminding us of the incredible diversity and majesty of life on our planet. So let us carry with us the lessons and insights we have gained from this journey, as we continue to explore and marvel at the mysteries of the natural world. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing videos.